we have five negative fractions that we have to order from least to greatest. The fraction with the smallest value will be the one that is the farthest underneath zero, because the further underneath zero something is, the lower the value. Because all of the fractions are negative, we know that the values are going to be less than zero, but we know the values do not go as far down as negative one. So we know that all five of these values must fall somewhere in between 0 and negative 1. To figure out in which order we should place these negative fractions, we can use the following strategy. Start by drawing a line and marking that with the number 0, and underneath that line, make another one that is negative 1. The space in between 0 and negative 1 represents one whole. Notice that we wrote negative 1 underneath 0 because negative 1 is below 0. The first thing that we're going to do is take our first fraction, which is negative 2 thirds, and we're going to start by drawing one whole rectangle right underneath 2 thirds that falls in between 0 and negative 1. We're going to take this box, which represents one whole, and divide it into three equal parts because our denominator is 3. After dividing our whole into three equal parts, we are going to shade two units directly below the number 0. This diagram represents 2 thirds below 0. Next, we are going to diagram negative 4 fifths. We start by drawing one whole box underneath 4 fifths and dividing that whole into 5 equal parts. After dividing it into 5 equal parts, we shade 4 units directly below 0. That's what 4 fifths below 0 would look like. Next, we diagram negative 1 half. So we basically make one whole box and divide it into 2 equal parts and then just shade one unit below 0. Next, we take one whole and divide that into four equal parts, and then we just shade one unit below zero. And last, we take our last whole box and divide it into five equal parts, and then we shade two parts underneath zero. Now that we have made a diagram representing each negative fraction, we can compare those values. The fractions that drop the farthest below zero will have the smallest value. Negative four fifths falls the farthest below zero. Therefore, negative 4 fifths is our smallest value. The next farthest underneath 0 is negative 2 thirds. After that is negative 1 half, and then negative 2 fifths, and the largest value that we have displayed is negative 1 fourth. So if you look on the left, we see the problem before we put them in order. On the right hand side of the screen, we can see all of the diagrams and the fractions placed in the proper order from least to greatest. The reason why negative 4 fifths has the smallest value is because it is the furthest fraction below 0. And negative 1 fourth is the largest value because it is only a little bit under 0. It is the closest value that approaches 0 and approaching the positive values. So if you were asked to order negative fractions, this is one strategy that you could use using pencil and paper to figure out what comes first and what comes last. Although there are other strategies, this is just one strategy that you could use to figure this out.